Hey YouTube friends, this is the cliffhanger installment number probably 192 and what I'm going to do is see if the radio works because I think I fixed it. I'm going into the garage now and it's pretty cold in here. I don't know, it's probably like 55 or something and I got everything all closed up. This is a protector from the cats. We got cats and they're inquisitive. So what I gotta do is plug the heat in first. I'm trying to work quickly because I only got 10 minutes. So that's plugging the heat and that's gonna put the heater on over here. This little space here. Turn on. Okay, then what I'm going to do is, i got to plug the workbench in. And what I do here is find the cable. Here it is, cable. I'm going to plug that into ground fault. Plug that into the ground fault here. Let's see. See, and I try not to electrocute myself, so I figure if something did go haywire, the ground fault should kick in. So I got, that's how I hook up the bench. Now, I'm going to put the camera up here, make it more stable, like that. And what I do is I take it all apart. And this this reminds me. I just got a about a four foot workbench here. And it's kind of uh, Spartan, I guess. And that's that's what I do. Just take the cover off here. Like this. Now remember that popping sound was happened when the radio was stone cold, and I'll tell you it's cold in here. Probably about 50, 50 to 55 degrees, I'm estimating, because it's cold. i got to put a winter jacket on. Okay, we're getting close. Let's put the meter here. And let's see if it works. And if it works, I'll tell you what I did to fix it. And if it doesn't work, then I'll have to keep working on it. So we got the radio plugged in. So the Variac is Variac is plugged into isolation transformer. Isolation transformer is plugged into the socket there. Now let's see if we're in focus. Yeah, it's pretty good. So yes, will it work? <laughs> I do not know. But I'm going to turn it on. Oh, I got the speaker underneath this box. So I should, what I should do is take this box cover off, like that, and these are my, uh, my test equipment, I'll put this over here, make the speaker stand up straight, like that, okay, here we go, powering it up. Powering up to line voltage. And I measured line voltage, it was about 122. And that's what's coming out of it. Now that that, that kind of manipulation on. is not the healthiest way to interact with people. Okay, it's working, but I'm going to detune it. Okay, I detuned it. And this, remember, it, was, would, it would pop after about 30 seconds to a minute. So let's see what happens. I can't stand the suspense. Will it not pop? Or will it pop?
So far, so good. Just got some static on it. Well, it should be popping by now. It should be popping fresh if it was broken. But I think I fixed it. No more popping! Okay, I gotta tell you what I did. <clears throat> and, make a long story short, I like checked the resistors out and stuff again. And they were good. Because I thought maybe the resistor was breaking down under, under load or whatnot. But the resistors in the oscillated circuit and stuff was good. So, what it was is that I didn't align the, I didn't align the radio correctly. And, I could tell you what I did. The alignment procedure is pretty involved. And it involves, actually, I'll leave it on just in case it starts popping. But the alignment procedure involves setting the, the single generator to 3.6 megahertz. And it involves aligning band number 4 first. And you set the dial to 10.8 megahertz. And you pick up I think it was a third harmonic off of it. Then after you do that, you switch it to band 5, and you go to, I think it was 11.6 megahertz, and you pick another harmonic off of that. I, th I think it was said fifth harmonic, but don't quote me on that. But what it was is that I didn't do it right, because I had it set for 3.6 megahertz, but the dial is wrong at those higher frequencies. I thought it would be right because the dial is right at 460 kilohertz, but actually the way I found it out was I set band 4 to 10 megahertz and I got WWV and that was like way off. So I set it on 10 megahertz and then once I knew that was right, see what I did was I set the high frequency trimmer at 10 megahertz to WWV. Then what I did was I set the thing up to set the dial up to 10.6 megahertz, like the alignment instruction says, and then I adjusted the single generator to 3.6 megahertz. But it was below; it was like about maybe three eighths of an inch below what the dial would say. So once I got that right, I was able to adjust I didn't have to adjust anything because it was right at 10 megahertz WWV it was also automatically correct on band 5 at the 11.8 megahertz where it's getting their harmonic because I hooked this up to the, the the antenna in the ground and it was correct so to make a long story short this thing puts out like a lot of harmonics these these two this is a heath kit thing I got on eBay for about 40 bucks but puts a lot of harmonics out and I shouldn't have trusted that 3.6 megahertz was correct so after I aligned this whole thing and it's like really involved um, it seems okay now but I think and that's all I did to it all I did was align it you've got a two-year-old you're gonna have to someday explain I aligned it correctly that, this you know, time I do this for a living and I still don't get it you made a mistake, well, on, and you so can argue go figure. To cry. You the can alignment talk, you was can doing that, that crazy therapy. popping you sound. You want, but you made a mistake. Being off, I didn't do anything else okay. to it but do that. And if you have any gut. And I didn't replace any components or anything. I didn't switch anything or anything like that. So it was the alignment that was causing six kids, that crazy popping sound. Go figure. I don't understand. So anyway, anyway folks, right take it easy and have a great day. This thing's almost ready to put into the, the cabinet now. I'm going to burn it in for another day or something and put it in. So uh, anyway folks, have a great day. Bye bye. There's one name to remember, Glassworld. Doesn't matter whether it's a window, a door, a shower.